Hey guys, in this lesson we will be talking about simple past tense. As I mentioned in the previous video, tense is the way we talk about time. In the past, in the present, in the future, and so on. Today, we are going to focus on the simple past tense, when to use it and how to use it. The simple past tense is a verb tense that is used to talk about things that happened in the past. You use it to describe actions carried out in the past. We can also use it to talk about habits in the past. The rules differ with these two types of verbs regular verbs and irregular verbs. So, here are the spelling rules that we need to know for regular verbs. Words ending in E, we add D. For example, bake, baked, like, liked, type, typed, escape, escaped. Bruce, bruised. All right, words ending in vowel plus Y, we add ED. So here is our vowel, which is A, and our, and Y. Play, played. Annoy, annoyed. Enjoy, enjoyed. Stay, stayed. Obey, obeyed. Words ending in consonant plus Y, we change the Y to I and then we add ED. Good. For example, berry, berry. We have changed our Y to I and we have added ED. Try, tried. Identify, identified. Copy, copied. Fry, fried. Words with one syllable, a single vowel, and ending in single consonant, we double the final consonant and add ed. Clap, that's one syllable. There is a single vowel here, which is a, and it ends with a single consonant. So we're going to double the consonant, which is P, and add ED. Clap, clapped. Clip, clipped. Grab, grabbed. Grin, grinned. Hug, hugged. All right, two syllable, stress on second syllable. And ending in single consonant, we double the final consonant and add ed. Let's say that again. When the word has two syllables, we stress on the second syllable and it ends with a single consonant, we double the final consonant and add ed. For example, admit, it's two syllables. We have doubled our final consonant, which is T, commit, committed, transfer, transferred, prefer, preferred. Spelling rules for irregular verbs. Some verbs don't change its form. For example, broadcast, broadcast. So today I will broadcast Yesterday, I broadcast. Today, I cut. Yesterday, I cut. Put, put. Cost, cost. Some verbs only change one vowel. For example, run. They have changed the middle vowel, which is U, to A. Run, ran. Come, came. Begin, began, abide, abode. Become, became, awake, awoke. All right, we're gonna take a look at some more examples. To 
my far right, these are what you called past participle. But we're going to focus today on the simple present tense and the past tense. Become, became. Begin, began. Bend, bent. Bet, bet. Bid, bid. Bite, bit. Blow, blue. Break, broke. Bring, brought. Build, built. Burn, burned or burnt. Buy, bought. Catch, caught. Choose, chose. Come, came. Cost, cost. Cut, cut. Deal, dealt. Dig, dug. Do, did. Draw, drew. Dream, dreamed. Drink, drank. Drive, drove. Eat, ate. Fall, fell. Feed, fed. Examples of regular and irregular verbs showing past tense in sentences. He went to the match yesterday. What kind of verb is went? Very good. It is an irregular verb. Last year, Tom took time off from work. They bought oranges last week. Danny committed to the task he got. She brought her dancing shoes to rehearsal Saturday. All right, we're gonna try these together. You're going to fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verb, simple past tense. The boy dash a picture yesterday. What did he do? He painted a picture yesterday. Very good. He, his head, when his mom asked him a question. Nod. Let's see. He nodded his head when his mom asked him a question. My brother, the ball, kick. What did he do? He kicked the ball. My brother kicked the ball. Harry to the supermarket this morning. Go. Harry went, very good, to the supermarket this morning. All right, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I trust that you have learned a lot from this lesson.